Do universities spend too much money on occasionally pointless research and not enough on their students' courses? Well, certainly there are some students that feel that they aren't getting value for money at their particular university. There are some students that also feel that some of their academic staff are more interested in their research than undergraduate teaching, and that is a real concern, and that tends to be a bigger concern in some of the more research-intensive universities. Uh, for students paying £3,000 a year, getting four hours of contact a week, that doesn't seem value for money for me. For students that feel that they uh, uh, are enticed to a particular department because of a, a big-name lecturer or a Nobel Prize winner and they don't see them, that doesn't seem fair to me either. And so, yes, I think there is a question about whether some universities are genuinely interested more in their research than they are in undergraduate teaching. And where that's the case and because students are paying, that doesn't seem fair. It's not necessarily fair to say that happens across all universities and there are some universities that do a fantastic job really focusing on teaching innovative styles of engagement uh, and really encouraging students to participate in their course. But that doesn't happen everywhere and clearly that's a concern and we need to seek to eradicate uh, poor examples where it exists. Well, it, it, our universities are autonomous, which is actually one of the secrets of their strength. So I don't think I should kind of micromanage what they do. I'm sure some of their research is pointless. And I do think that we've got very sharp incentives for universities to research. We don't have similar incentives for universities to focus on high quality teaching. So we want to try to shift the, the pressure zone to focus on teaching as well. But I think overall we look to universities that have strong research and strong teaching.